My name is Dr. David Provost, and you're watching the Weight Loss Surgery Channel. Hi, and welcome to WLS News. I'm Leslie Thompson, and we're glad you could join us today. Coming up a little later in the program, we'll have a report about the impact of obesity on birth defects in newborn babies. And we'll also take a look at how the spread of childhood obesity is affecting some clothing manufacturers. And of course, our own Yvonne McCarthy will join us to highlight a couple of the best websites for WLS information and support, including the second week's winner of our user-submitted site contest. But first, scientists have long known that excess belly fat can bump up your risk of heart disease and diabetes. Now research suggests that it may be linked to another problem as well, migraine headaches. If you've never experienced a migraine, it's a sort of super headache that not only hurts about 100 times worse than a typical headache, but can also include nausea, vomiting, and sensitivity to light and noise. Now a team of researchers from Drexel University College of Medicine in Philadelphia has found a link between belly fat and the frequency of migraines, at least until middle age. Data collected from more than 22,000 participants in the ongoing National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey showed that a person with abdominal obesity, which means lots of belly fat, was much more likely to suffer from migraines than someone with overall obesity. This was true for both men and women between ages 20 and 55. Even more interesting was the fact that women with extra belly fat were 30% more likely to experience migraines than women without excess belly fat, even after accounting for overall obesity. Although there's no proven way to target just the belly fat in terms of weight loss, the same rules apply as when you're trying to trim fat from any other part of your body. Cut back on calories and bump up your fitness routine with aerobic activity as well as strength training. In our next story, you've probably heard that omega-3 fatty acids are pretty much a miracle nutrient. They're good for your heart, they reduce cholesterol, they give you whiter teeth and fresher breath. Okay, just kidding about that last one. But seriously, omega-3s are good for you in lots of ways. And now a study out of the University of Barcelona indicates that omega-3 fatty acids can protect your liver from damage caused by obesity, especially with regard to insulin resistance. There are three types of omega-3 fatty acids. The first is alpha-linolenic acid, and the other two are EPA and DHA. The um, medical studies and anecdotal studies show that the benefits of having omega-3 fatty acids in our um, daily diet is that it helps reduce the inflammation within our blood vessels and it also can help with the metabolism of triglycerides to help lower triglycerides. Um, and there may be some new studies coming out showing a possible positive effect on uh, making um, the liver more insulin sensitive, which would be very helpful in terms of um, possibly obesity and the development of diabetes. Researchers zeroed in on two types of molecules found in omega-3 fatty acids, protectins and resolvins, which are known to reduce fatty liver disease and insulin resistance in obese people. They studied four groups of genetically obese and diabetic mice and found that the livers of the mice that were fed a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids showed far less swelling and other damage than the livers in the other mice, thanks apparently to all the protectins and resolvins they were eating. The lesson here appears to be that, surprise, healthy doses of omega-3 can limit the damage to your health from obesity. So if you're trying to add omega-3 fatty acids to your diet, one of the easiest ways is just to use a couple of different vegetable oils. Canola and soybean oil have the highest concentration of omega-3 fatty acids. Fatty fish contain the EPA and DHA. Um, the great sources of fish include uh, salmon, mackerel, albacore tuna, and sardines. So two four ounce servings of fish per week would be um, a very good way to, to add um, a modest amount of omega-3 fatty acids to your diet that way. So here's the drill. Eat lots more fish, switch to canola oil, and lose that extra weight gradually to keep your heart and your liver happy. When we come back, we'll find out who's really to blame for our country's epidemic of childhood obesity. And Yvonne McCarthy will be here with a report about a couple of cool sites for weight loss surgery support online. Stick around and we'll be right back after the break. 
The Weight Loss Surgery News brought to you by Bariatric Advantage. Ask about the Advantage Reward Program because you deserve it. After weight loss surgery, it can be hard to get enough vitamins and nutrients in your diet. Bariatric Advantage offers a complete line of nutritional products specifically formulated to meet the unique needs of bariatric patients. Choosing to have weight loss surgery was a big decision and required a big investment. Learn how Bariatric Advantage nutritional supplements can help you get the most from your surgery by keeping your new body healthy and strong. Call us toll free at 800-898-6888 or visit us online at bariatricadvantage.com.